Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my full coverage foundation routine. I did a review on my new foundation that I am using these days, um, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'll link that down below if you didn't see that yet. Um, but I'm going to be using that in my foundation routine today because this is what I have been doing with my foundation lately. And this is a really full coverage, really smooth and just kind of like porcelain looking skin. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this flawless full coverage foundation look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to prime my skin with my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. I've been using this a lot lately as my primer and it works like a dream, you guys. It's crazy. I'm just going to rub that all over my face. A little bit goes a long way, so be careful with this stuff. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my foundation on top of that. I mix the Marc Jacobs, um, the Remarkable Foundation in shade 12, and then also the YSL um, Touche Claw Foundation in the shade BR30. That's my shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and distribute that across my face. I usually start in the center of my face like this and I just put a nice solid layer and then I kind of dab it in to my skin. That's the key to full coverage is you don't want to swipe it around your skin because then it's just going to kind of shear it out. Um, if you wanted sheer coverage, that's what you would do obviously. But in this case, I'm just going to kind of pat it in. You want to just encourage the foundation to become part of your skin and to just blend in really seamlessly. That's the whole theme throughout this application is that we want it to look really really seamless and smooth. Then I'm just going to go back in and go over some spots where I needed more coverage. My nose mainly. I have such a hard time keeping foundation on my nose. It's like Oh, it's so annoying. Then I'm going to do the outsides of my face, which I did not do in the first step. And again, just patting that into my skin, kind of melting it in and blending it downward toward my neck and upward toward my hairline. And the same thing on the other side. I like to apply it with a brush and then kind of blend it out with the beauty blender. That's just my preference. I find that it's easier. I'm going to take this powder. It's super, super fine. This is the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. And I actually use my beauty blender that I used for my foundation to apply this powder as well. And I'm just going to put the tiniest, tiniest little layer of that all over my face, concentrating in the center areas of my face where things move around a lot and makeup tends to kind of patch away and stuff like that throughout the day. So you want to form a really nice like connection between the powder and the foundation so that they hold on to each other all day long and they stay in place really, really well. And again, just patting that in in all of the areas, especially around the eyes and nose. Now I have this area right on my nose and beside my nose on either side that does not hold makeup. I don't know why, but makeup does not stick there. It is so bizarre. So I have to go over it like three times just to make the coverage even with the rest of my face and it drives me a little crazy, but that's okay. As long as you work patiently and carefully in layers like this, it's gonna be just fine. It just takes a minute to build it up. And then that same powder, I'm just going to go and set those areas that I just went back over. Every time that you put foundation on top, you want to then go over it with powder again. And yes, you can put foundation after you've put powder. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. I'm going to put that under both of my eyes. And I'm going to set my under eye concealer when I'm done with it. But this is just step one of my under eye concealer. This cancels out any darkness, which may not even be showing through too much at this point after the foundation. But just in case there's a little bit peeking through, you do want the application to be really, really seamless and even. So then we're going to follow through with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is NW20. And I'm going to use that with my Beauty Blender and just pat it in so that it makes a really nice transition between my under eyes and the rest of my face. I'm then going to set that part with powder as well, like I said, just because we do not want creasing in this area, especially because we've kind of put a lot of product there and creasing can easily happen. Then I'm going to conceal my eyelids because <laughs> I feel bad that you guys have to look at my red eyelids. <laughs> so bad. I have eczema there still that just isn't going away and it's just not cute, especially when I have the rest of my foundation on. It's quite obvious. Then I'm going to go in with my Girlactic Bronzer. This is the shade Cabo and I'm just going to do a soft little contour and kind of bring it upward toward my temples a little bit just to blend it out really, really well. 
I'm gonna repeat that on the other side, obviously, because we want to be even, right? I like this brush, actually. It's from BoxyCharm last month, and this is the Jouer Cream Highlighter in Tiare, and I'm just gonna take that on kind of the butt end of my beauty blender, and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. I do this before my blush because I feel like if I do it after my blush, it covers the blush up too much. This is Warm Soul by MAC, which I love. It's been one of my favorite blushes for quite a while now, and I love that it's trendy to have like glowing blush because it's kind of a really shimmery bl blush. So I love this combination, and I think it looks really, really nice together. And that is pretty much it for the entire complexion, and I will be right back. So I just finished the rest of my makeup. I did an eye look and this kind of gray nude lip, which makes me look a little bit dead, and I kind of like it. Um, and that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!